Hi, welcome back. Today I will show you how to make this beanie with a waffle stitch. You can follow even if you're a beginner. I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing. So let's get going. You'll be needing some materials for this beanie. I used this acrylic yarn. It's a medium size 4. Two crochet hooks. It's a 5mm and a 6mm. You'll need some scissors and a tapestry needle. Of course, you'll also need a pom-pom. I used this at board, but you can always make one yourself. If you don't know how to make one yourself, I can show you. Just follow the link in the corner. And I got a tutorial that shows that shows you how, sorry. But let's get started. So for this beanie, we start by making the brim. So grab your crochet hook size 5mm. Make the yarn a double to make it extra bulky and do a slip knot. Pull. So now we start chaining. Yarn over, pull through, that's a chain. Yarn over, pull through, two chains. We make seven chains in total. That's five, six, and seven. All right. Now we work in the second stitch from the hook. This one doesn't count. So this is the first, and this is the second. We do a single crochet. So we insert the needle in this second stitch. We grab the yarn, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. That's a single crochet. Insert the needle in this next one. Grab the yarn. Pull through one. Yarn over. Pull through two. And for this next stitch. Insert the needle. Grab the yarn. Pull through one. Yarn over. Pull through two. So just do single crochet all the way across for this first row and we only got one more to go remember this is the slip knot so this doesn't count we will be working in this one as our last stitch so insert the needle grab the yarn yarn over and pull through that's the first row when we turn, we always do a slip stitch and turn. So for this next row, again, we will be working in the second stitch. Sorry, this first one doesn't count on the needle. So this is the first and this is the second. Now, instead of working down here, like we usually do, we will only be working in the back loop. So this is the back loop. We will still be making single crochet, but only in the back loop. So in this second stitch from the hook, we insert the needle in the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Insert the needle in this next, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through. I will just be making this second row to show you the next. And we're almost at the end. Whoops. So, see, this is the last stitch. This is not a stitch, only these. So we will be doing a single crochet and that's it. So before we turn, we do a slip stitch. Then we turn. So for the rest of the brim, you just do one single crochet in every back loop. Remember to start in the second stitch of every row. Of every row back loop only 
and single crochet. You continue making your brim until it fits your head. And then I will be showing you what to do next. I'm done crocheting this brim. So we will now connect the ends so we can start working in rounds. Take the other end and connect it like this. Pull out your needle and insert the needle in the stitch nearest you. Insert the needle in the loop, yarn over and pull through. Now we work a row across so they will stay connected. Insert the needle in this next stitch and in the back loop on the other one. Grab the yarn and do a slip stitch through all three. And again, insert the needle in this next stitch and in the back loop. Grab the yarn and pull through all those three loops. And the next one, insert the needle. And this next one, insert the needle. And in the back loop, grab the yarn and pull through all those three. Continue connecting all the way across. Just insert the needle and in the back loop and pull through. And in this last one, just exactly the same. Grab it and pull through. And we are connected. So now we will start working in rounds. It's the most important that it's even in the bottom. This one will even out if it isn't. So now you chain two, one, two, and now we switch needle. So from a five, you switch to your six millimeter. So go ahead and grab that one, insert the needle. And now we work a row of half double crochet. So we do a half double crochet, one in every row. So this is a row and this is a row, but on the back, you see, there's a row in the middle. So you worked a half double crochet in every row. So this one, this one, and this one. A half double crochet, you yarn over and insert the needle. So there's little gaps here. This first row is a, it's a bit hard because there's not actual stitches, so you have to go in where you can. So we went in through this first one, grab the yarn, pull through. So we have three loops on the lead on the needle. We yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. This next one, that's easy to see where to go in. There's already a little gap. So we yarn over, insert the needle in the gap, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. This next one should be a little gap we can go in. We yarn over, insert the needle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And you see this half double crochet. 
So just do one half double crochet in every row. The ones behind and the ones in front. And when we are at the end, just do a slip stitch in this first stitch. And we go to round two after that. So half double crochet, you yarn over, insert the needle, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay? I'll see you when we are here. I made it to the end of this first row where we did a half double crochet in every stitch in every row. Now I did a slip stitch in the first stitch and I will turn the work so we got the right side facing out and we will start working row two. So for this row we start chaining two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So now we do back post double crochet. So for this first stitch we do a back post double crochet. That's a double crochet just in the back post of this previous. So we yarn over and instead of going in here like we usually do when we do a double crochet we go down and grab this post and pull it behind so you got it on your loop behind then we grab the yarn pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over, pull through, two. That's a back post double crochet. We do another back post double crochet in this next post from the previous row. So we yarn over and go down and grab this post so it lies behind on the needle. Then we grab the yarn, pull through, pull up a bit, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two back post double crochet. So you can see the other stitches lies in front. So you did the crocheting behind these ones. Now we do a regular double crochet. In this next stitch, which is this one, we yarn over and do a double crochet in this stitch like we usually would. So we go in through these, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through, two. So that's a regular double crochet right there. Then we do another two back post double crochet. We yarn over, go down and grab this post from behind. Grab the yarn, pull through, pull up a bit. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And another back post double crochet, we yarn over, grab the back post, grab the yarn, pull through, pull up, yarn over. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we do a regular double crochet in this next stitch. This one. So we yarn over, grab this next stitch up here like we usually do. Insert the needle, grab the yarn, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two. So now you see this one lies behind and this one is a regular double crochet and these two behind again where this one lies on top and the waffles are already begin forming but we do another back post in this next stitch we yarn over go down and grab this from the previous row grab the yarn pull through pull up a bit yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and another back post we yarn over go down and grab it yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two continue all the way around we just did do back two back loop double crochet then do a regular double crochet in this row on top and then another two back loop and i will see you when we reach the end and you just do a slip stitch in this first stitch again we are all the way around and it should be looking like this not much of a waffle stitch looking pattern yet but it'll come so i just finished with two back loop double crochet right here and we will now connect it with a slip stitch in the top stitch of this first one from the previous row so we just put in our needle and do a slip stitch so now this stitch is similar to this one all the ones coming out and we will do one chain each time we start a new row remember that so here we have two back loop double crochet from the previous row each time we meet two back post double crochet we do a regular double crochet so we yarn over and go in to the top stitch like we usually do and grab the yarn pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two just two regular double crochet like that now this one comes so each time we meet one of those that are coming out a bit we do a front post double crochet so where we did the back post we went in from behind and grabbed it now we grab it in front so we do a double crochet in the front post of this one so we yarn over and go down and do the double crochet in this post so yarn over pull it through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so now it continues coming out of the beanie and we will continue with this next two who are lying behind so those we are doing regular double crochet we yarn over grab this in top and pull yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the top stitch just a regular double crochet and now we meet one that's coming out so we continue to push it out by doing a front post double crochet we yarn over grab this one in front and keep pulling it out we grab the yarn pull through yarn over whoops pull through two and yarn over pull through two 
So now we see the waffle beginning. And the next row is going to be a more waffle-like pattern. But continue doing this. Each time we have two of those behind, we just do regular double crochet. And these one coming out, you do front post double crochet. When you're all the way around, you do a slip stitch in the top stitch of this one. And just continue do the same. But when you meet those, we do back loop double crochet, just like the reg just like the row before. So we just switch those two rows again and again until we are at 18 centimeters. So I'll just explain one more time. Here in the previous row, we did two back loop double crochet and one double crochet. And this row, we do two regular double crochet in these ones. And here we do a front post double crochet. So next, we slip stitch when we're all the way around. And in these two, we do back loop double crochet and then we do front post double crochet. So I see you when we are 18 centimeters tall and good luck. So we're at this point right now and it should be looking like this. I was going to do two double crochet and a front post double crochet in this one. So now we chain two. And then start doing a double crochet. And yarn over, pull through two, and you stop. Just leave this last one on the hook. Then you yarn over, go into the next one, and do a part of the double crochet as well. Then we have these two, we yarn over, and pull them together. And now we did two double crochet together, so we decreased one. Now we do a front post double crochet in this one. And now we do two double crochet together again. So we yarn over, go into this next one, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, stop. We yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, Pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and stop. So we have three loops on the needle. Yarn over, pull through all of them. So now we did two double crochet together. And we do a front post double crochet in the next. Like this. And then two double crochet together, yarn over, insert the needle, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and stop. Yarn over, into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two and stop. Three loops on the needle, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then a front post double crochet. it. So continue all the way around and we will decrease some more and we're back around again. So now we have these two double crochet together with a big stitch on top all the way. So now we chain two, we yarn over and we are going to do back loop double crochet but we grab both double crochet behind 
and do a back loop double crochet like that then we do a double crochet in this one oh sorry like that like that yeah then we do a back loop double crochet where we grab both of these like this pull up and finish your stitch then we do a double crochet then a back loop double crochet grab both double crochet then a double crochet and a back loop double crochet where you grab both double crochet together from the last row from the previous row just continue all the way around with a regular double crochet and a back loop double crochet where you grab both of the double crochet together from the previous row okay and we're done with that you see it is coming together on top and now we are really pulling it in so this was a double crochet and this was the back loop double crochet so now chain one and we will now be working only front post double crochet and we will do them together so two front post double crochet together and only in these double crochets from the previous row these ones were coming out so when we do one we yarn over like when we do a front post double crochet then we grab the yarn pull through yarn over pull through two and leave the one sitting behind on the needle then we yarn over skip this back loop double crochet from the previous row find the next one that is coming out and you grab that one grab the yarn pull through yarn over pull through two only two and you have three loops we yarn over and pull through all three loops so now we pull two front post double crochet together and we are really pulling it in right now so this next one we are going to do this one and this one together so you see it's going to pull it so we yarn over grab this next one front post double crochet grab the yarn pull through yarn over pull through two and step you have two left to go we yarn over find the next one grab it in front grab the yarn pull through one yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all three loops okay one more these two are going to be pulled together so we yarn over grab this one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and leave it and grab the next one and crochet them together so see it is really coming in so just continue to two front post double crochet together in each one of those that are coming out all the way around go and now on top it should be looking like this with a little hole left to go and it's almost impossible to keep crocheting in this 
So we will stop crocheting. So take out your needle, grab your scissors and your yarn and leave a long tail. Snip. And we pull the yarn through. Find your tapestry needle and thread it. And we will now be sewing the rest together. So, just like this. And we pull the next stitch and insert your needle in the next stitch all the way around. And just give it a, a good pull for each time. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. I do a new tutorial every week. So be sure not to miss any of them. And if you like the video, please press thumbs up. And we are all the way around, so you just... Pull, 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 and it'll get smaller and smaller, and that's it. And we did waffles all the way to the end, and have a great finish. So, now we just insert the needle and fasten it on the back side, on the inside of the beanie then go ahead and attach your pom-pom and there you have it your perfect little beanie with a waffle stitch i hope you found the tutorial easy to follow if you did please leave a comment i'll see you next week for the next tutorial bye <laughs>